Hello folks, welcome back to Velaxi Technologies. My name is A.R. Shankar. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Ansible variables. In previous lecture, we have seen how to convert our shell commands as Ansible playbook. As a further enhancement to existing playbook, we'll introduce Ansible variables which helps us to manage Ansible playbooks more efficiently. To demonstrate variables, we are using same playbook which was written in the previous lecture to install Tomcat server. Before jumping into our practical session, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to it and go through with our previous lecture which talks about how to convert shell commands as Ansible playbook. Addition to this, I have created an Udemy course to help you to understand DevOps project. So far 1900 plus people enrolled, 322 people given average rating of 4.5 you can check it out if you are interested now come back to our topic there are various ways to pass variables to your ansible playbook it could be defined within the ansible playbook itself passing from external files passing from host inventory or using group wares or host wares if you need more information about this, I would request you to go through with the Ansible official document to understand more about variables. Now jump into our Ansible server and continue with the same playbook which we used in the previous lecture. So I am on my Ansible server and Tomcat setup.yml is the playbook which we have written in the previous lecture. To use variables, we need to edit this file. Let me open in the VA mode. Let's go to starting of the file. I mean to say header, usually variables, you can keep it under vars. Let me take a first variable value as a tomcat url, tomcat url. So what it is, I want to specify tomcat url here so that I don't need to specify over here. Whenever I want to change something, I will come and change in the header section itself. For that, I am copying this url and keeping it over here now here i no need to use url itself i will replace this one with my variable name url our variable name is tomcat minus url this is our variable right but whenever you specify variable it must be under flower braces this is how you need to specify variable in case your variable is at the starting of the line then you must keep it under double quotes. Otherwise, it throws an error. Similar way, we can use one more variable that is for under SRC, we are using Apache Tomcat and version. I don't want to keep it as a hard coded. For that one, I am going to use one more variable. I will name it as a Tomcat package. I am just giving it tomcat package as my variable name i will just specify till here and here i can replace this one with variable tar.gz should be there i am removing this and here my url name is tomcat package right okay this is my variable name as i said variable if you are specifying it should be in the flower brackets and here we may or may not specify braces why because it is not starting of the line it is in between of your line so no need to mention braces similar way here also we are going to change it with our variable value and spaces it is best practice to mention okay so this is how we can replace our hard-coded values with variables now if i want to change tomcat packages folder or my url i can only change over here i have given a space over here so this is how we can use variables now let me save it so let's go to our target system this is our target system so go to apache tomcat bin under this directory we have shutdown.sh is there stop the services and check for services now 
services are not running let's go out and remove this entire folder rm minus rf right we have removed it now let's execute our playbook ansible playbook minus i hosts tomcat setup minus minus check because i have changed this file let me check oops i have given tomcat minus url you should not use minus or hyphen in the variable name let me change it so we should give underscore instead of hyphen over here so we have replaced the hyphen with underscore let's save this okay it's working and the target system is clean okay anyway file is not there and if you observe you can see here it variable has been replaced with value now without check i'm executing so let it run meantime if i check this it is not working okay downloaded yes extracted as well yes services also running and let's access our tomcat server right this is how we can use variables in the ansible playbook but you don't want to use variables within the ansible playbook you can use ansible variables in a different different formats even we can specify variables outside of our playbook as well assume that let's create a tomcat underscore vars i will keep these two variables over here right so i will just mention these variables over here save the file now in playbook instead of specifying variables over here i will remove this one and replace this as a where's underscore files and i can specify the file name what is our file name minus tomcat underscore where's right now also it will do the same thing cat tomcat underscore sorry tomcat setup and tomcat underscore where's now let's do the installation one more time before that let's stop it apache tomcat apache tomcat bin shutdown.sh i have stopped tomcat services yes now remove the apache packages nothing is there this time i am going to execute playbook one more time before executing i will check it out now let's execute actually and it calls variables from the tomcat vars and replace the values let's see it's downloading all right it has done and uh, this time also if i see tomcat is there and services if i check it's running and again i can able to access my website right this is how we can use variables within the ansible playbook and uh, calling externally from variables file Apart from these, we have group where's, host where's, and a few other ways we can call variables. Depends upon where you are calling, the priority get changes. We'll see how group where's and host where's works while using roles. Right? That's all for this lecture. 
hope you got a basic idea of variables there is lot you can do va variables but i will teach what is the best practice and how we use variables in the real world when we are talking about roles thanks for watching this video in next video we are going to see notify and handlers thank you if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to our channel see you in the next video